Hello students, welcome to services classes. Today we will be solving the ISI MS QMS question paper from the year 2016. Today we will be solving question number 20 and question number 21. So let's begin with question number 20. In question number 20, it is said that if A1, A2 up till AN are in harmonic progression or HP, then A1 upon A2 plus A3 plus A4 up till AN, comma, a2 upon a1 plus a3 plus a4 up till a n which goes on up till a n upon a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 up till a n plus 1 this series is in arithmetic progression or geometric progression or harmonic progression or none of the above so let's begin in the first condition we have been given that a1 a2 a3 up till a n are in harmonic progression that implies that 1 by a2 minus a1 is equal to 1 by a3 minus a2 and this goes on up till 1 by a n minus 1 by a n minus 1 this is the condition that we have been given now the series that we are asked to check over here that can be written as that is a1 upon a2 plus a3 which goes on till a n similarly the second term is a2 which goes on a1 a3 a4 up till the last term a n and this goes until a n upon a 1 a 2 up till a of n minus 1 now suppose if we assume that the summation of all these terms a i where i goes from 1 to n is equal to some term s then the series can be modified and written in the following way then we can write the first term as a1 and the denominator can be written as s minus a1 similarly the second term can be written as a2 by s minus a2 and this will go on till the last term which will be written as a n upon s minus a n so this is the modified series uh, modified uh, sequence that we are talking about here so now let us first check out, uh, check for the fact whether this is a harmonic progression. If this is a harmonic progression, then the first three terms, which are a1 upon s minus a1, a2 upon s minus a2, and the third term is a3 upon s minus a3, they are in HP. In that case, their reciprocals are in arithmetic progression. And we can write that s minus a3 by a3 minus s minus a2 by a2 is equal to s minus a2 by a2 minus s minus a1 by a1. So if this is the condition that is to be satisfied if we further simplify it it will come down to s minus a3 minus 1 minus s minus a2 plus 1 is equal to s by a2 minus 1 minus s by a1 plus 1 these ones are cancelled out and if we take s common then we get 1 by a3 by 1 by a2 is equal to s into 1 by a2 minus 1 by a1 and this implies if it this implies that if we cancel s out then 1 by a3 minus 1 by a2 is equal to 1 by a2 minus 1 by a1 and this is true as we already know this is true 
सिंस ए वन ए टू ए थ्री आर इन हारमोनिक प्रोग्रेशन सो द एजम्सन दैट दिस सिक्वेंस दैट वी टू कोवर हियर दैट ए वन बाई एस माइनस ए वन एंड ए टू अपॉन एस माइनस ए टू दैट इज अम हारमोनिक प्रोग्रेशन दैट एजम्सन इज करेक्ट एंड सो वी कैन से दैट द एंटायर सिक्वेंस इज अ हारमोनिक प्रोग्रेशन एंड ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन नॉन लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन In the next question, which is question number twenty one, it is said that if f is a real valued differentiable function which satisfies the condition of mod of f of x minus f of y is less than equal to x minus y whole square for all real numbers x y. Also, it has been given that f of zero is equal to zero. Then we have to find out the value of f of one. The options are two, one, minus one, and zero. So let's begin. We have been given that mod of f of x minus f of y is less than equal to x minus y whole square. If uh, also f of zero is equal to zero, these are the given conditions. Now, if we take x equal to x and y equal to zero, this implies that mod of f of x minus f of 0 is less than equal to x minus 0 whole square and this implies that mod of f of x is less than equal to x square this implies that f of 1 mod of f of 1 will be less than equal to 1 this one condition and the second con and the second thing that will do modification that will do again we'll use the condition that mod of f of x minus mod of f of y is less than equal to x minus y whole square so if we bring the x minus y over here it is here it is mod of x minus y so if we bring the mod of x minus one of the mod of one x minus y over here then we can write mod of f of x minus f of y upon mod of x minus y is less than equal to mod of x minus y if we take limit such that y tends to x then limit mod of f of x minus f of y upon mod of x minus y is less than equal to limit y tends to x x minus y this is equal to f does x and as x y tends to this is equal to 0 so this implies that f is non increasing function so if this is true for all functions so if we take f equal to 0 in that case we'll get that f of 1 is equal to 0 which is the option d so today we have solved question number 20 and 21 from the isi qms qms paper of year 2016 we'll be solving the next questions in the subsequent videos till then keep watching sources classes videos for more solutions and content thank you very much